and welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to press that subscribe button. And even if you're not new and you haven't pressed that subscribe button, I really don't understand what you're doing. Either way, for those that are new, I post my videos on Thursdays and Sundays at 6.30pm. Those that haven't followed my Instagram page yet, I'm going to interlink a picture of my socials just to show you guys some of the things I talk about on a normal day-to-day -day basis. I do try to post daily motivational stuff so if you need a dose of daily motivation make sure to follow my instagram page and i am going to put the at on here as well you can also find that information and the link to my instagram in the description bar below so today's video i'm going to talk about um the myths and the difficult truths to self-love the things that people don't really mention as much about what real self-love actually is. I hope you guys enjoy this video. So self-love comes in many different forms. What self-love means to you might not be exactly what I deem as self-love but I think there's certain aspects of it that are transferable between everyone. So one thing that I'll say self-love is sometimes it is like the materialistic stuff sometimes to a certain degree as long as it's now not an addiction or detrimental to your finances or detrimental to your health it is a form of self-love maybe I want a handbag and I have been working really hard you know grinding with my other things you know just being a, a well-rounded person and I just feel like I need to treat myself and I'll dis uh, and I might decide you know what it is I think I've, I, I've deserved that bag and there's a difference between you wanting something and you deserving something because I can I want a lot of things that I don't have yet I want a lot of things but just because you want something doesn't mean you should get it and you also have to look at your finances and see if it's actually a, a wise financial decision for you to get that thing it seems that society is willing to to go above its means just to get certain things and if you want it genuinely because you want it that's okay but if you want it because uh, so and so has it that's a completely different board game because you are now putting yourself in a in a tight financial situation just because you want to fit in with the crowd you want to you know fit in with the joneses you want to be in trend you don't want to be left behind there is such a large pressure on on keeping up appearances and 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 wanting not to to lack in what the what society says you should have which is now becoming detrimental to people's finances which in turn would then be detrimental to their health because now they're struck because they cannot pay for this essential thing that they want but they've now got this designer handbag and living a facade and wanting to look like you're rich but you're actually not there is a difference and a very important difference between looking rich and actually being rich because we should be striving to be rich rather than looking rich another aspect of self-love is actually taking care of yourself because you need to realize that you have this one vehicle your body is the one vehicle that you have to experience this thing that is called life and you have to take care of it i mean you need to take care of it in terms of exercise because you know we all know that exercise has good health benefits it keeps you fit it keeps your body in a state that it is able to function because once one thing goes wrong in your body everything else will start dysfunctioning because it is a machine our bodies are a machine that works together once one thing fails you bet it's a down downstream hill to to other health conditions so look after your body first you need to look after your health because you can 
you can chase after all the money and all the dreams but if you don't have your health that means absolutely nothing what's the point of being a millionaire when you can't go out and and spend that money and do the things that you want to do because you're now stuck in a hospital because you burnt yourself out you put yourself in a in a state that your body cannot function anymore and it just shuts down another part is what you eat what you eat is what you become literally the food that you eat becomes part of your body so if you're constantly eating fast food your body is going to reflect that you know it doesn't have as much nutritional value if you're if you're buying food which is quite syn synthetic kind of not authentic or organic kind of food you know that's not going to be good for your body you know that's detrimental to your health you're not giving your body the nutrients it needs and also getting sunlight like in England we don't have that much sunlight anyways but just go outside and getting fresh air is good for your health that exposure that um a clean fresh well I don't know if I can call it clean air but the fact that you're getting fresh air is is has been proved to be good for your body so why not do that maybe it's just a 15 minute walk and that's also part of the exercise as well because you're walking just getting that fresh air and you need that on a day to day basis so I cannot go on a three day bender watching Netflix inside and not doing anything and just in eating junk food and expect my body to react to it very well I think another aspect which is highly um forgotten or people don't tend to talk about as much especially in the black community is the importance of looking after your mental health to health is is something that can can absolutely make or destroy your life and knowing when you're knowing yourself and knowing when you're starting to dip in terms of your mental view of life or of yourself or of your goals or things that you're wanting to do and realizing that i have fallen in a state that is no longer beneficial for my mental health and for me as a person and i need to take a break and i think one thing that is adding especially a lot of um, pressure is social media and the need that people have to look a certain way, have certain things, be a certain a certain way and do things a certain way has become absolutely detrimental because for most of these people that they are aspiring to be, they are actually not like that in real life. And it's a made up facade of, of a persona or a person or a lifestyle they may not necessarily have. And you're taking that as in, my life is not fulfilled my life i've failed in life because i don't have you know six rolls of lamborghinis that are waiting outside for me and this big mansion this perfect um hourglass figure which most of the people actually don't have but has been edited and it's portraying a certain image that you're now admiring which is actually not really there takes such a toll on your mental health because you now look in the mirror and you don't like the person that's looking back at you you're now having insecurities about things that are unrealistic or have not been created by natural means meaning that person has had to undergo surgery to have that kind of body and you're wanting that your natural body to then look like that i think also another thing that link links with mental health is how you're progressing in life if you feel like you're stagnant if you feel like you're not working on anything or developing anything most likely you're going to feel like failure in life like you have not uh, been living the life that you want and that takes a toll on your mental health that's why i say you need to make goals and work towards them because that feeds who you are as a person it feeds into the the belief that you have about you what you think about you is very important and that is also fed by the progression that you're having in life as human beings we by nature we are progressive when we are progressing in our journey progressing towards our goals we feel fulfilled and we feel like we are doing things in life that are moving us forward
Another thing about self-love is also realizing as and when you need to be real with yourself. There's moments in life where you realize, wow, Marcy, I am, I am not holding myself at my best regard. I am not doing things that I know are valuable for myself or this thing that I'm doing is detrimental to myself and then stopping that thing when you've realized that because most of us we we enable ourselves or our family or our friends enable us to be a certain type of way which does not serve us does not serve um, our progression and our growth as an individual one thing about true self-love is realizing that let's say if you want to lose weight and you're sat on a couch just eating pizza all day and junk food one that's detrimental to your physical health it's detrimental to your mental health because you know you're not progressing you know you're not doing anything to better your life at that moment in time it's also bad for your self-esteem really because i don't really think there's many people that can go on a week bender eating pizza and watching netflix and actually feel good about it when they want to be realistic and true with themselves highest form of self-love is telling yourself that do you know what it is Marcia? love you enough that i am not gonna let you sit on this couch for a week and just watch netflix and eat junk food i love you enough that I am, we are not gonna buy that bag, that expensive bag that you're wanting. I love you enough that we are gonna wake up early in the morning and go and exercise because I need to look after this vessel that is allowing me to experience life and I am trying to experience as much life as I can so I need to be healthy. Allowing the higher and more conscious self talk you into the things that will better you for your betterment talk you out of things that you shouldn't be doing it's realizing that do you know what it is master i love you enough that we are not going to sleep right now although you think you're tired we are not going to sleep what we are going to do is work on that goal work on that dream work on that project finish that that assignment that i need to finish because i know it's due in in two days and not allowing things to accumulate. Procrastination is also another thing that you need to talk yourself out of. It's like, Master, I love you enough that we are not gonna procrastinate because the more we leave things to pile up, the more stress down the line we're gonna have. So I am avoiding you future stress. I think self-discipline is the highest form of self-love there is because when you're disciplined, you, you know that although I, my body feels like I am tired, I need to do this thing to avoid this future pain. Although I, I feel lazy and I don't feel like cooking, I know that if I have the discipline to cook a nutritional meal, it's going to serve my body. It's going to nurture me because what I eat will become me. Self-love is cannot just be taken in the, in the, in the sense of I'm going to treat myself. It's also, I'm not going to treat myself with this thing because I know A, B, C, and D. And self-love is also having difficult conversations with yourself about your, your traumas. Self-love is fixing the traumas and rid of the baggage you've accumulated as you're growing up, as you're developing yourself. Self-love is reading those books that you don't want to read, but you know will better you as an individual, will add more value to you in your life. Like, I think people have taken such a passive approach to self-love and have actually made just little glimpses of in instant gratification as a form of self-love. Self-love cannot not just be taken in the, in, the, in the sense of I'm going to treat myself. It's also, I'm not going to treat myself with this thing because I know A, B, C, D. It's also having difficult conversations with yourself about your, your traumas. Self-love is fixing the traumas, getting rid of the baggage you've accumulated as you're growing up, as you're developing yourself. Self-love is reading those books that you don't want to read, but you know will better you as an individual, will add more value to you in your life. I think people have taken such a passive approach to self-love and 
have actually made just little glimpses of in instant gratification as a form of self-love. Self-love is also knowing how to make yourself happy. What are those things that you do that will make you happy? When I have a productive week or when I, I'm conscious with my week and my time and I have structured my week properly, on every Sunday I will do a facial and I will cleanse my skin and I will do face masks just to look after myself and I, one it makes me feel good and two it's adding it's actually making my skin good you know I'm, I'm now looking after my body in the process but I, I genuinely enjoy it I use it as a time for just me that's actually another very important thing about self-love is knowing like being able to 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 know yourself and being able to to remove yourself from distractions and from everyone and actually be okay to be to be with yourself and i think another form of self love is actually sometimes realizing that i've i've overworked myself and i need a break before you fully burn out another thing about self love is realizing and understanding what your traumas are what your weaknesses also are as an individual what your flaws are as an individual and starting to work on them like if you're someone who is not a good communicator how can you work on that because that is an essential skill in life whether you are just um a in a place of work or in a relationship in a marriage it's very vital to the to the proper functioning or to the development of that relationship or of your career to have good communication so i i know one of my weaknesses is communication so i'm trying to progressively work on that it's Something that is taking a while, but I'm making slight changes in the one to like asking people, how do you think I can work on this? People that I feel like are good communicators. People think that like, knowing where your flaws and where your weaknesses are and having an action plan to work against them, knowing what your traumas are and having an action plan to work to to overcome those traumas, to then release yourself of that mental baggage or that emotional baggage is actually a form of a very deep self-love because one you're bettering yourself and also you're you're allowing yourself to live life a bit more free and yeah i think this is all i've got for today guys just to let you guys chew on that for a bit don't be afraid to share this video with someone that you think will find it of value if you guys have enjoyed this video and i will see you guys when i post my next video bye guys